is the Summer Learning Series, Episode 3, three um, on screencasting. So the first one was why I think you teachers should try screencasting. Just jump right in. Uh-huh. And Episode 2 was on how easy it is to use Snagit. And this one, Episode 3, is on how you can make your screencast even better using Camtasia Studio 8. And i got to admit, I'm struggling with this a little bit. I'm struggling. Um, I'm not struggling because it's complicated. I'm struggling with my thoughts here because Camtasia is so easy to use and so powerful. There's so much to it. But my focus here is really I just want you to try it. I just want you to just jump in and try it. And so I want to show you how easy it is to do some of the really cool stuff. So that's where I'm struggling because I want to show you all this, but I really only want to show you this because I want to get you to try it. Um, so my focus today, I'm going to show you uh, just a couple of things, really. I want to show you how, to th how easy it is to throw in um, an introductory clip and some music. Uh, maybe a quick Zoom lesson. And then I want to show you where you can go for more help, something that I've done and still continue to do quite frequently. So let's let's check things out, shall we? Let's start by adding an intro. So here we are in the Camtasia Studio Editor. That's the screen that automatically pops up after you have um, recorded your screen capture. You can notice that the uh, tracks are already built for me, tracks one, two, and three. Um, Camtasia splits your system audio, your screen, and then if you've got a, a webcam uh, recording as well, it splits them into their own tracks so you can manipulate them individually, move them however you want, edit them however they want. But I'm going to show you here how simple it is to add um, an introductory screen and some music to your screencast so you can make it uh, a little bit better. Watch in real time how simple this is. First thing I want to do is I'm going to highlight all three and just kind of slide them off to the right and give myself a little room on the left to work with. I'm going to click on my library tab here. You can see I've got all kinds of music and themes provided by um, Camtasia. And in this case, I like the Lost at Sea. So I'm going to grab that animated title and drop it down onto the timeline. I like moving it over to the left. Um, and then I'm going to go into the clip itself. I can double click on enter the title and I can fix that with my own title. So I've done that. I'm going to then highlight my screencast and move it back over so it's right up against that. And you can see that that process was pretty simple. So that's how the recording would start. Kind of bland whoa, whoa, whoa. though, without some audio. So let's go fix that. Um, just like uh, I did before, I'm going to click on the library. I'm going to go back up to where the music was. And in this case, I like the coast to coast. And I've already kind of looked through these. I like the short version. So, pause that. I'm going to take that. I'm going to drag that down onto my track. And in this case, I'm going to put it above um, my other tracks because I'm going to have that playing right up over top. If I drag it a little bit here, here, how simple that was. But, whoa, and welcome back. I found the tutorial. See the problem there? Um, the recording is kind of being played at the same volume as that uh, track I just brought in. Well, that's simple to fix. So I'm going to click on this track, click on audio, and click on fade out. Drag my slider bar back, way back to where I start talking, and it is just that easy to fix. Whoa, and welcome, welcome back. back. Um, okay, um, I've played with that before, so I like how that sounds. Um, trust me when I let you know that adding an outro clip is just as easy as what I've just done there. You just kind of add them to the back end of your tracks instead of the front end. And that is all it takes to add an intro clip with audio. So check that out. As you can see, that was simple. And this next piece is simple too. Look at that screen there. You see that all that different stuff you got going on? You got those different buttons there with weird symbols and you got one of the tracks is blue and a couple of them are, are gray and you got that clown down in the right corner there and 
Really, you just want um, your audience, your students, to focus on one little part of the screen. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the zoom feature. So essentially, you just grab that uh, slider bar and put it wherever it is you want it. So let's say I want um, a special area of focus here. I put that cursor there. I click on the zoom and pan button. And I drag these little corner bars. And I can move this wherever it is I want it. But let's say I just want them to focus on this little part up there. So, because I just wanted to see, the, you know, which which theme I'm choosing and, and how simple it is to do that. So, I can adjust the, the size of the zoom or, you know, the, how quickly it zooms to that area. So, if I back it up here, you'll see what I just did. Over, over, to, over the to the left. left. Um, and then I'm going to go, go into, into the clip, clip itself. itself. I can There's that I zoom for you. And, and then, of course, when you're done, maybe you want them to go back to the full size. So you're going to choose uh, the this button here, which shoots it back out to the full screen. And you can see that dropped right in there as well. So if I play that now... I can there's a zoom in, in the title, title, and, I can, and there's the zoom back out. And just with that simple little feature, you can capture your student's attention and have them focus on one small little part of the screen, which you'll use very often. So what do you think? It's pretty easy, isn't it? Yes, it is. But as I mentioned to you at the beginning of the segment, uh, Camtasia is really powerful and there's lots that you can um, that you can do with your screencast. Uh, so I'm going to show you some place I often go um, to get a quick tip or two. Uh, if you go to TechSmith's uh, homepage and then click on support and choose tutorials and then choose product, so we're looking at Camtasia Studio there, you'll see there's a whole boatload of tutorial videos for you that uh, they have prepared, such as uh, number five there, how to explore the editor. Maybe number seven, cutting unwanted media on the timeline. Or eight, at a call out. Um, or we can zip on down to like uh, visual properties or animations in depth. That's a cool one. Okay, but uh, you can see if you click on any of these, let's say I'll click on adding call out, you'll see you get a little video that pops up for you and they're really brief, so I click play on that, you'll see this is only 4 minutes and 16 seconds long and it's going to give you uh, a, just a quick visual tutorial on how to do certain things within their program. So let's get started right just jump in just trust me just jump in so go to TechSmith's home page click on Camtasia Studio and this is the top downloads so you click on Camtasia Studio choose your version whether it's Windows or Mac enter in your address it's as simple as that and look at this little feature here I like how Mr. Bill Hamilton the president says we will not share your email period I love that so drop in your email there download it try it for 30 days and then within a few days, go yell at your, uh, at your tech guru there at your school and say, dude, we need this. Come get this. So anyway, check it out. I know you'll have fun with it. And uh, keep on checking back for little how-to videos as I intend to run my classroom and make more. So thanks again for checking in. I really appreciate your